Hello, 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 beautiful people. On the 1st of April, I created this account. My Varlamor Locked Hardcore Iron Man. I have not shown you any progress on this account for a couple of months. Right before the Deadman Mode All-Star started, I put this account on a little bit of a vacation. After Deadman Mode All-Stars, it was time for a regular Deadman Mode. And after all of that, I was really enjoying my main account. It exists, bro! It exists! The Fang! But now, with Varlamor expansion coming out on the 25th of September, it is time to bring the Varlamor account back. Now, just in case you haven't kept track of the progress of this account, I will very quickly show you the stats and the gear that we currently own. At the start of this episode, we are 1279 total level. But that is not all, we finished 99 strength in the last episode, but we also are super close to 99 defense right now. Couple of worthy mentions are also the 60 range obtained strictly through no gear ranging, which allows me to wield mixed height once I reach 72 hunter. On top of that, we have a very decent prayer level, all the way to 57, and somewhat mediocre magic level all the way to 54 we're gonna definitely have to train magic quite a little bit higher we are also a proud owner of 95 hit points and some decent stats nothing too crazy here perhaps the last thing worth mentioning being the 38 herb lore in order to utilize the prayer potions or the potions in perilous moons the goals for this episode are super simple we need to do perilous moons get as many drops as possible and hopefully not die in the process and if i have some time left over I will also start working on hunter I do want to eventually achieve level 72 in order to wear the full mixed hide if we are successful in all of that the last thing we're gonna try to do is to fully prepare the account for the expansion coming on the 25th of September now when it comes to my gear I do have the blood moon tassets being my only loot from perilous moon so far my best in slot weapon at the moment being soul for blades and my best armor outside of that being armand full helm with armand plate body I have a really solid armor amulet in the amulet of strength and the very mediocre boots and gloves and we are always rocking the ring of life just as a safety if we were to ever dc maybe it could save us to top that off we are wielding a mixed height cape which was the last unlock we achieved in the last episode and now it is time to risk our account again and go straight into perilous moons so Perilous moons, I need to clean my inventory before we go ahead and do that, so let's go ahead and rub the lamp, put it in agility, we're now 21 agility, very cool. I also need to put a little bit of sound on and uh, let's run our way straight into perilous moons. I have not done them in a very long time, uh, but I'm sure we're gonna be okay, right? One thing I never did was buy an Adaman Square Shield, being my best shield for a long time whenever I'm using Rune Mace, and Sulfur Blades offer me a very good slash option to attack the bosses, a very mediocre stab bonus to attack the bosses, however, no crush bonus, and that's where the Rune Mace comes in, it offers me a really good crush bonus, and that is basically everything the Rune Mace has to offer. But after further inspection, Blue Moon does have minus 5 flat armor stat, meaning that maybe Sulfur Blades are actually better there, because, you know, if I hit, I should hit plus 10 anyways. So all we're really gonna need in order to start Perilous Moons is my best in slot armor, which I already wear, and Calcified Moths, which is my one-click teleport out. Everything else can be obtained in the Moons of Peril dungeon, so let's go ahead and get a full inventory set up. And uh, I have not done any practice runs, nothing like that, but I don't think it should be too crazy hard. Oh man, this is gonna be scary, fellas. But my stats are okay, just my gear is bad. But yeah, I'm not flicking or anything, so we're just gonna go ahead and we have two of these to go through. So we should be alright. Have they added more of these, by the way? Okay, I should probably pay a little bit of attention as to what I'm doing. But listen, first kill of the day, right? It's fine. So yeah, this is how slow it is, by the way. If you guys ever wondered how it feels like to do it on a like restricted account compared to main. When I do this shit on main, it's so fast. But on a restricted account, we're gonna be doing this for like uh, a long time. But this one is arguably one of the easiest. There we go. So that's one down and now a lot more to do. Uh, but after every kill, I think we do need to obviously restock. So it's going to be pretty slow, but let's get it done. But before we continue, I would love to tell you more about the sponsor of today's video, Boot.dev. This is one of my favorite sponsors to work with on the channel. Boot.dev's mission is to simply teach you programming. They focus on the backend development using Python and Go programming languages. The reason why I find them so cool is because they make learning how to code fun and 
and unique. As you're learning, you will be gaining experience, levels, achievements, and you also complete quests and fights to be on the global leaderboards. Our friends at boot.dev believe that the best way to learn how to code is to never be bored. And the way they accomplished that is they created a really cool online self-paced platform that feels like you're playing a captivating RPG game. Boot.dev is designed to make you writing a ton of code, because getting your hands on the keyboard and shipping projects is by far the best way to learn. And since they don't want you to feel like you're spending your money on something that is not actually helping you, they offer a 30-day no questions asked money back policy, but also a free demo with all the interactive features. So if you want to learn how to code, make sure you click the link in the description, use the code MikaRS, you will get 25% off your first payment. That can be 25% off your first month or your first year, depending on your subscription. I'm looking forward to some of you guys learning how to code and a massive shout out to boot.dev for continuously supporting the channel. But now, let's get back to the video. I don't know where the corners are. See, I used to have the tiles for all of this. But uh, when my SSD reset, my tiles are all tr like gone now. So let's do it like this. We're just gonna slowly create the tile system here for this. Oh, is it for this where the rune mace would be better? I think for this I need rune mace, by the way. Because you see I'm hitting like 1-0. Like I'm hitting nothing, basically. Because it lowers your max hits. I think this is... Ah, this like double lowers my max hit, right? Because it counts on each hit. So because of that, I need to bring rune mace for this phase. I remember it now. That's why I needed the rune mace. I just forgot. I think we can finish it, but like, holy shit, this will be slow. Oh, man. Okay, so if you're ever wondering why you need the rune mace, it's for this guy, because otherwise my max hit is one. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, we did it, it's fine. Uh, and then the last one is the blood moon phase, and obviously that's the hard one, right, because it heals. So we'll see how we do there. It could, in theory, be the easiest one for us, once we have, like, really good gear and stats, but at the moment, I don't think that's gonna be the case yet. Alright, and the hardest part about this is the Blood Moon. Obviously, we use Slash for this one. Uh, we're gonna just do it on defensive. We're gonna wait for the right rotation, so right after the special attack. And then we're gonna go in. Let's go. So this, we will be hitting hard, but it will be healing. And that's why this one's hard. So for this one, the most important thing is to eat when you cannot DPS. Otherwise, you're putting yourself in a disadvantage. That's why this is so hard. You see how the HP just keeps going up? If I get hit, the HP goes up, and we might need to do this multiple times just to be able to clear it once. That is pretty good. That is pretty good. It hits zeros. So there we go. When the boss hits zeros and we deal damage, that's how we clear it. So we have done it. Okay, we've done the second KC, and that's how hard it's gonna be to actually do this content. So it's not gonna be easy, we're gonna get a rune mace for the next KC of course, so it makes it a little bit easier for the Eclipse. But let's see if we can get a back to back, it's been a very long time since we've done, you know, perilous moves on this account, but uh, let's go ahead, give it a shot. Okay, so we do get Adlal and pretty much prayer XP. I forgot that I'm gonna also get bonus prayer XP to top it off. Uh, the good part about this, I can bank all, so I don't even need to ever leave this place. So that's pretty cool. Let's set up another inventory. But we do need to get ourselves the rune maze back. But for the blood moon, look, the amount of food is pretty good. So definitely gonna go with uh, three prayer potions. All right, second attempt at the eclipse. We're gonna go ahead and try rune maze right now. And we're gonna see how it feels. Everything else was pretty chill. Yeah, so I hit eight. So that's already better than anything I've hit before. Yeah, and I hit a 12 max hit. So a lot better. And here is where we should really feel the difference. So let's take a look. Yeah, look, 15s. Yeah, th this is definitely better. Okay, chest number three. Let's take a look. We get a U seed and a lot of other ladles and some uh, grimy stuff. Not too bad. Take everything into bank and we keep on going. But maybe with my stats, this is not the hardest anymore is what I've been thinking. Like, really good damage so far, to be honest. But uh, it doesn't really matter how good your damage it as it is at the start. It needs to be that good at the end. Yeah, we're getting very lucky right now. I had to jinx it. 77 is fine. So here we always get first hit. And that's it. Nice. Yeah, these blood moons are getting so smooth with my defense level. Like, so smooth. Alright, here we go. 
dual Mako Hitl would make it a lot easier to do this, uh, but we got, again, like so much prayer supplies. I'm definitely gonna be training my prayer to like higher level outside of the moons, uh, but this loot is pretty good. KC number five. What did I just get? Perilous Moons Novice. Okay, so combat task completed. Why did I get baited by that? Uh, but yeah, look, we're getting so many atlatl darts. I'm honestly looking forward to a bit of a range training once we get the full Eclipse set, I believe. Uh, so yeah, more bones, usids. I don't think I can do anything with usids. I don't think I have a patch, but maybe after the expansion, there will be a patch. But I'm 41 farming, so I don't know why that's important. Anyways, let's keep going. We're getting an item today for sure. Little surprise maze, we're gonna go ahead and do it very quickly. I did not want to start it like that, but that's okay. What do we need from mazes? Probably just runes, right? Runes would usually be good. I'm always so bad with mazes, I don't know why. Yeah, I'm going, it's fine. But we do like surprise mazes. Uh, the sad thing is you can't get random event in Perilous Moons, so it wasn't for me accidentally looting the loot in my inventory. We would have never gotten this maze. Uh, but yeah, I guess arrows would be fine, right? And runes would be fine. Uh, but I don't think there's anything we necessarily need from the maze. I don't know why I don't see a percentage of this. Yeah, I don't see what percentage this was. I know it was fast. Let's take a look what we get. Coal, mithril, and steel arrows. You know what? Uh, not the best, not the worst. I think we're fine with that. Okay, chest number six. It could be anything. It is not the best. I don't know if I can utilize the Swamp Tar for anything. Maybe it's an okay way for me to train Herblor. I do think I get some herbs as well. Prayer XP, Water Orbs. Let's keep on going. This time, Bang Call. I need to never misclick that, otherwise it... Uh, I lose a lot of time if I take it in the inventory. I believe we're on chest number 8. Or is it 7? It's 8. It's 7, actually. Okay, we get the, the usual loot. The loot is not gonna change too much. But what we were able to calculate is I do approximately three and a half chests an hour right now. In order for me to get an item is about 1 in 19, I believe. So think of it, what, 5 to 6 hours to see something if I non-stop do it? It's definitely gonna be a grind, but uh, let's see if we can maybe get lucky. Some people do raids, some people do like, I don't know, like high-end PVM content. We get excited for a Lunar chest, let's take a look. 8kc maple seeds, I could actually plant these if we get a tree patch in the next week. No! See, what did I just do? A mistake, an absolute mistake, right? I need to go to the bank and put this in. I need to stop accidentally clicking the loot, god damn it, whatever. So whenever you see hit splat and you're under 50, I need to eat, basically. That's like my threshold. Mm, big damage, it's healing a lot. So this is the first kill where I think I'm getting very unlucky. With how much it's healing, I'm gonna eat here. Where I might actually be unable to finish the kill due to my food situation. So this might be a tab out. And that just goes to show, when you're unlucky, and I've played it perfectly. It's just when you're unlucky, that's how it goes. Let's see, maybe the luck changes here. 79, it's just hitting a lot. That's the blood moon for you. It's a DPS check, and sometimes the DPS check does not go in your favor. And then you have to TP out and do it all over again. So, yeah. Even with these stats, even with 99 strength, 98 defense, 80 attack, I can still fail the DPS check on the Blood Moons, which is absolutely crazy. The only thing I could change is I could get Mixed Hide Boots with 72 Hunter to make it just a little bit better. So this will be one of the next goals I will do after my Perilous Moon session for today. But it's just interesting to see that even with all of this available, I'm still sometimes too weak. 57. It just needs to hit me zero and I kill it. The problem is, it does not want to hit me zeros at all. There we go, Jesus. I almost had uh, two fails in a row then, but uh, luckily we did it. I believe this is chest number nine. We had some fail attempts. Let's take a look. Uh, some soft clay and uh, some herbs. All right, surely we get an item soon. I believe in it. 17 minutes for this one. Uh, this is like uh, very full. This is the most items we've ever gotten. We also got super compost now. So I guess that can be useful once we start farming for the Renars. 10 chests in. Not too bad. Let's keep on going. I'm getting an item today for sure. Chest number 11. Makuhitl being our best loot we can get. And then Blood Moon Spear being our second best probably right now. But instead we get a U seed. We'll take it. Not too bad. Nothing in the loot number 12. 
I mean, we'll take the compost. I think compost can come in handy, honestly. Okay, so we got more compost. We got a bunch of darts. And we probably got a decent amount of uh, bone shards as well. And these bones that we can turn into more bone shards to train more prayer. However, I'm not going to be training more prayer until I get 72 hunter. Because with that, we can then hunt sunlight antelopes. And with that, we can get the sunfire splinters, use it on wines and just get more XP. But also, we can get a mixed height boots. So the next goal is going to be to work a little bit towards that, I think. Until I'm ready to do another session of perilous moons. We are off stream right now, so it is time to do some grindy things. I'm gonna start off with Hunter, the goal is 72, the start is 62, and here is level 63. Nine levels to go, we could in theory hunt the Chinchompas right now, obviously we don't have those over here in Varlamur. 65 Hunter, and I'm pretty motivated to keep pushing right now, I'm getting approximately 70k XP an hour. So I need about, what, 40 minutes for a level at this point? If I can somehow grind this out to 72, it's gonna be very worth it, so maybe we just grind it out, we'll see. Whenever you're in the skilling mood in RuneScape, you need to just ride the wave. Here's level 66 Hunter, only 6 more levels to go, and we can afford our very first mix hide shoes, and uh, the rest of mix hide pieces as well, I'm pretty sure. Getting this 72 Hunter is turning to be quite a little bit of a project. We're now level 67, and we caught over 1377 tails in just this session. The cool part about this is I could already create the mixed hide legs. I didn't really know, but the requirement for that we already have. And for the mixed hide body and boots, well, for that we need to get sunlight antelope first. And well, for that we need 72 hunters. So I do think the motivation is there to finish this hunter level. However, the experience, this could easily take me four to five hours of just straight up efficient clicking on the body. Boxes. So I'm probably gonna mix this with a little bit of AFK training to get this defense to 99 as well And the account is gonna start to look extremely good quite quickly So let's keep on going quite many hours of hunter ahead of me new mini game called Click the blue box and get a little bit more XP with this method of just catching sunlight moths I can comfortably be getting around 80k XP per hour, which is about 10k XP per hour more than the previous method. I'm now also 67 hunter, which is honestly not too bad, but also I have a mystery box here in the inventory that got me a flyer, which is useless, and I also have this lamp that goes on to agility. This is gonna give me plus 210, two more lamps until level 22. The best part about the sunlight moths is also the fact that they replenish your run energy, so I can just run even with my full armor in my inventory and I don't need to worry about it. So that's pretty chill. So originally I thought I would need to push all the way to 72 Hunter. However, I realized that I have an access to Trapple Stipple, which is basically a plus two Hunter boost. Therefore, this level 69 Hunter is before the last level we gotta get. Just one more level to go. And I think we can be a full mixed hide enjoyer after that. So let's go ahead and finish this. It's going to be one of the last things I want to do when it comes to just straight up skilling grinds for the time being. And after that, we're probably going directly back to Perilous Moons. So we have about, I'd say, an hour left to go to be done. There it is, the big 70 Hunter. I've been procrastinating this one for arguably a little bit too long. Uh, we can now run to the Hunter's Guild right here north of the, well, this location. And we can now go ahead and prepare all the items that we need to get full mix height set. So uh, let's see what we need. So the inventory is prepared just to have a little bit more space. We're going to utilize the lamp, put it in agility. We're not going to get a level from this. But now I need to find the Trapper Steeple. I do think it should be somewhere down here, probably. Yeah, there is one. And let's just drink one and see. Yeah, we get a plus two hunter boost. So that's basically why we need those. I'm gonna get like, I don't know, a few of these. And uh, we're gonna hunt a few of antelopes very quickly. Okay, so the first thing we need is we need to catch three foxes. What this is gonna do is this will allow me to create a mixed height bottoms. I will need to spend 20k on it though. And that is fox number three. We can now create mixed hide legs with 20k coins. But now if we run just a little bit east, we should be able to catch some sunlight antelopes as well. And that's where the boots and the body will come from. Okay, let's see if this works. We are 72 hunter. We're gonna need three of those in total. And it works. And not only that, we now also have sunfire splinters to work with. This is an amazing item simply due to the fact 
that I can go ahead and put those into wines. So the next time I'm training prayer, this is gonna give me even more experience. It is time for us to start working on the money situation. We need 60,000 coins in total in order to create a full mixed height set. And the best way to do that is simply through thieving. So that's my next objective. Here's level 67 thieving. We're also up to 40k coins. So only 20k to go and the full mixed height set will be created. And there we have it. We now have 60,000 coins to create three mixed height pieces and we are ready to go right back into Perilous Moons right now. I believe Pelem is the guy we should speak to about this. Ask him if he can make us some armor. Ask about the mixed height top. That was 20k. The next thing we want is some mixed height boots. And that is our best in slot boots pretty much forever. And then lastly... We're gonna go ahead and create some legs as well. And just like that, we go from this to this, looking like an absolute machine. Obviously, uh, I have the Blood Moon there as well. So, leather boots are definitely no more. Uh, but I do want to show you like a big difference that this armor gives. And this is like the melee strength bonus. So for training, this is by far my best set right now. Because obviously we do not want to be using the Blood Moon Tassets because they have charges when it comes to training. But now I'm worried about the defenses. So look at the defense. So for Perilous Moons, the loss in defense is not worth it. So we're not going to be using this armor for Perilous Moons. But everything outside of Perilous Moons... We're gonna probably use this armor. So this is going into the bank for now. And uh, obviously the boots stay on. And that's why this grind was worth it. Simply due to the fact that if we were to compare the regular boots to these boots. Look, plus two strength bonus is very noticeable. And I also get defense bonus on top of that. And that is pretty much perfect. We're back in the perilous moons. And one of the last things I want to get in this video is to actually obtain another unique. So far, we only have the tacits and we're getting close to the second roll, so to say. It's another day and here's the lunar chest. Let's take a look. What are we going to get? Swamp tar, maple seed, a lot of Harlander and water orbs. We are 14 chests in already. That is not too bad at all. All right, here we go. I believe this is chest number 15. Good luck, us. We get super compost. We get atlatl darts. I mean, we get what we want, but not what we want. So let's just go right back. I low-key on the download wish there was a way to make like some supplies at this part of the dungeon as well. Because I always need to run like all the way back. Or I guess maybe I wish I was strong enough to where this amount of food would be enough to do the blood moon. I'm not sure. Crazy, I didn't even think about that, but... Uh... From now on, we might be pre-catching three lizards, so then we can do this a little bit faster and we don't need to run all the way back. Very good idea from the chat here. This might be the best blood moon I've ever done on this account. I refuse to believe it. Look at my inventory. I used one food. Are you serious? That was crazy, RNG, by the way. That has never happened before. Okay, let's see what we get. A lot of maple seeds, a lot of Harlander. We are 16 chests in already. I would love to see another item. All right, best of luck us. I think this is like 16, 17 maybe. Yeah, it's 17 and we get uh, the usual, the usual. But I'm getting uh, pretty confident with the fastest routes nowadays. Like I pre-prepare for all the bosses. So I say that and I run the wrong way. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's keep on grinding till we see an item. Okay, chest number 18. What do we get? Uh, nothing special. Lots of darts. This is all we want. A lot of Adlal darts and a lot of super compost. Both of that is really solid. Okay, more compost. No Adlal darts. Maple seed. We take it. 19 chests we've already done, which is pretty solid. I think it is time for us to finish off 99 defense. I'm gonna go ahead and train that up because it is so close. I want to have it done. And now my favorite thing for the training, we bank all our gear, including the Blood Moon Tassets, and we just pull out the mixed height set. There is one more thing I wanted to check, and that was what my range bonus looks like. Even my range bonus looks very decent with the mixed height set now, so if I get a power amulet, which I can, um, I actually have a solid range setup. Unfortunately, I only have a regular bow, uh, but maybe we can change that in the future. So that's pretty good, honestly. Very happy. And uh, yeah, this is going to be my training setup. I can even do more damage with it now. And then the second thing we need is we grab these, these, this and that. So we can teleport here and that's basically all we need. And now we can AFK our 99 defense. Ladies and gentlemen, 39 days and 4 hours in the making. 940 hours in the making. 
we are about to reach another 99 on the account. There it is, 99 defense accomplished on the account. With that, we're now level 114 combat level, and with that, we only have attack to go. We're already 81. Yesterday, I was AFKing at night, and I didn't want to reach 99 defense when I can't commentate. So, when I need to AFK, we're working on the attack, but outside of that, it's all about doing perilous moons and waiting for the update on the 25th of September. We have basically fully prepared the account for the future updates, but I do want to top this video off with at least one more perilous moons drop. Today is my last day in Germany, and you may be wondering, how do I want to spend my last day in Germany? Well, the answer is, I'm gonna be doing some perilous moons, but we're gonna be racing against the time. I only have a couple of hours left available, I want to get one more drop from perilous moons, and let's see if we can make it happen. I've trained my stats all the way up to 83 attack and obviously 99 defense. And I've also accumulated a nice bit of rewards over here in my inventory. We're gonna start off by utilizing the lamp and putting it on agility. And then utilizing the book of knowledge and once again putting it on agility. We are now a proud owner of 22 agility. Still very far away from being able to use the shortcuts. I also got a bunch of caskets. And I am also saving these square sandwiches. Don't ask me why. It's just like one of those collection items that... I want to have in the bank for some reason. But I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna do perilous moons until hopefully we receive a brand new item. I just got 96 HP then. In the middle of an eclipse moon. I did not know that one was coming. But I guess three more levels to go and we reach our ultimate potential. All right, let's take a look. The very first chest of the day. Can we get lucky? We start off with a lot of super compost and kill count number 20. Let's see how long it will take us. Chest number 21, here goes nothing. Again, we get nothing too special. 27. I have to tab. Oh, so unlucky again. That wastes a lot of time. I only have two tabs left, so we might need to do more mining soon in the very near future as well. It's so crazy how sometimes you will go through an entire inventory of food to finish the Blood Moon, and then other times it's gonna be, yeah, just use like three food and you're done. Uh, but we're about to open another chest. Let's see if our luck changes. Oh my goodness, chest 22 is the Eclipse Moon chest plate. There it is, our second drop of the account. This is beautiful. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the difference. I don't know if it's better defensively, but if this is better defensively, we're looking absolutely phenomenal. And even when it's not, I do believe Eclipse Moon set is going to be my best in slot set for Colosseum. So that is super exciting. I cannot even equip it. I need 75 rage to equip it. Well, we know what we're going to be working towards in the next episode. But very quickly, I do appreciate every single one of you that made it till the end of this episode. We have now played this account for 39 days and 15 hours. That is over 951 hours spent being logged in exclusively in Varnamore. If you guys enjoyed this series, the best way to support me is to simply like the video. That way you motivate me to put crazy hours on this account and keep progressing it. I am gonna be looking forward to the 25th of September for the release of Varnamore 2.0 and you can hopefully look forward to more videos on this account but also my main account. I guess it is time for me to go pack some bags in real life and I'll see you again very soon with another video. Have a good one and bye bye.